Hello and welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing what are the different ways to navigate in Flutter and what are the different ways of sending parameters while navigating to a different screen in Flutter. Let's start. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new screen. I'm going to call it whole screen. So implement the material dot dot and the first screen extends a stateless widget. We don't need a state for this demo. Okay. So a scaffold widget with an app bar and a title. Let me say for screen, then a body with a column widget and children. I'm going to add a text field with some decoration, input decoration with the padding, uh, let's say 15, and a hint text, enter title, okay. Now to control the text field, we need a text editing controller. So I'm gonna say controller title is equal to new text editing controller, and supply that controller to the controller property of the text field, all right. So I'm gonna create another text field Give it another text editing controller, controller message. Okay, and change the hint text to enter message. Okay, now I'm going to open the main door dot file where our parent widget resides. Okay, so let me go to the main door dot file. So this is the main door dot file where you can supply the home property. So let me delete the commented code which I used in the other tutorials. Okay, so so let me import the first screen here. Okay. And I am supplying first screen as home. Okay. So when I run the app, I can see. So that's our first screen. All right. Now let's create another screen. So create a new file. I'm going to name it second screen. Okay, and I'm going to the first screen dot dot file and copy everything and I'm going to paste it in second screen dot dot and rename the class to second screen and uh, we need only one text field here so I'm going to delete that and change the title to second screen. Now let's go back to our main dot art file and change the home to second screen. So let me import that and change the home to second screen. So the initial screen would be second screen. Okay, so you can see that. All right. So let me undo that. All right. Now I'm going back to the first screen and add a spacing. So a size box with a height of 20 and a button so outline button the child a text so the text would be launch second screen okay and one press of the button we're going to call a function so let me write a function button tap one that's going to take a build context Okay, and we are going to open the second screen from here. Okay, so let's call navigator dot push with the context and second one is the route. So we need to supply a material page route here. So material page route. Okay. Let's check the properties. So the first property is the builder that takes a function with a context parameter and it should return the screen which we want to navigate to. So let me import the second screen here and call the constructor. Okay. All right. And run the app. 
Okay, click on the button. Okay, it's not working. Okay, I forgot to call the function here. Sorry about that. All right, now it's navigating. Now let's see how we can send parameters to the second screen. Okay, so let me switch to second screen and uh, let me declare some variables. So we want to send a title and message to the second screen. Okay, so we need a string title and a string message. So I'm going to create a constructor that will accept these two parameters, the title and the message. Okay, so when the parameters are received, we are going to show it, show the title in the bar title. So I'm going to check if the title is empty. If it is empty, I'm going to show an empty string, otherwise the title. Okay. So let's add another text widget with a spacing. And I'm going to show the message there in the same way. Okay. Now let's go back to the first screen. And in the second screen constructor, we are going to supply the title. So title, controller title dot text. And the message will be controller message dot text. Okay. All right. Refresh the app. Okay, let me type something. Second screen and the message is hello. Okay, so you can see that the title and message is passed to the second screen. So this is another way to pass parameters to another screen. So next thing what we are going to do is we are going to get a value from the second screen when it is it is being closed. Okay, so I'm going to add a button in the second screen with the on press callback and call navigator.pop and the second parameter is the value that you want to return it can be any object okay so let me get the controller for the text field here so controller message back dot text so whatever you type in the text field will be sent back to where it is called okay so it is being called by the first screen, right? So make the button tap an asynchronous function and wait for the result from navigator.push. Okay, so called await there. So we will get the result here. So once we get that, we are going to show it in a snack bar. So write a function, show snack bar with the context and the result. And we are going to check if the result is null or if it is empty, then we are not going to show the snack bar. So we're going to return from there. Otherwise, we're going to create a snack bar. So remove the old one and call show snack bar and a new snack bar with the content. text result okay all right now let's call the function show snack bar with context and result okay run the app okay so done okay there is some issue here so the issue is because of the context. So we are sending the wrong context here. Actually, we are sending the scaffold context. So let me add a builder widget. We need the body context here. So, so builder with the context. So I'm going to copy the whole column and paste it there. All right. OK. All right. It should be working now. Let's try. Okay. Okay. It's showing the snack bar with the value. So let's try again. Okay. So that's also working. Now let's see another way of sending parameters to the next screen. Okay. So for that, I'm going to create a new class. I'm going to say screen arguments. Okay. So that will have the title and the message. Okay, and a constructor that will accept the title and the message. 
okay I'm gonna close that and import it in the first screen okay and let's go to our button tab and remove the second screen constructor parameters okay and we're going to add another property called settings which will accept the route settings and the arguments so for arguments we are going to give screen arguments with the controller title dot text and controller message dot text okay so we are sending the parameters now let's see how the second screen is going to accept these parameters so let's go to our second screen and uh, we need to import the screen arguments here and call model route dot of context dot settings dot arguments okay so we will get the arguments here so let's change the title to arguments dot title so similarly for message as well so we can see so you know that the title and the message is there in the arguments okay so let's see how that works okay we can see the title and the message there okay so that is working now let's see another way to navigate between screens so go back to a window dot file and i'm going to come in the home screen and we are going to initialize some routes so so here we are going to uh, initialize the screens so what are our screens that are inside our app that we are going to navigate to okay so i have two screens here the first screen and the second screen so first screen is having the id first underscore screen and the second screen is having the id second underscore screen okay so if you save that you can see that it's showing an error a route backslash return null so we have not told the app which is the initial screen so let me set the initial route to let's say first underscore screen okay so now the error should be gone and it will load the first screen so as it says you can have the first screen as backslash so if you reload the app we can see that it still loads and we can see the second screen as backslash second underscore screen so that's a web way of doing so we are not going to do like that let's go to the first screen and declare a static string route id so this is going to be the route id for the first screen and we are going to do the same thing in the second screen okay so the route id will be second underscore screen now let's go back to the main dot dot file and change the string first underscore screen to first screen dot route id and the second string to second screen dot route id okay so so this is a proper way to do it so that we don't have any string type of error okay now our first screen has been loaded so let me change that to second screen now the initial route is the second screen so our first screen becomes the second screen but you can see that the title is empty right because the title is coming from the arguments okay so let me set the empty text to second screen so you can see that the text has been updated to second screen okay now let me set it back to the first screen okay restart the app okay now let's see how we can navigate with the help of route ids so let's go to the first screen and add one more button okay i'm going to say named okay and on press of the button i'm going to copy the button one function 
Okay, let's rename that button tab to uh, navigator.push2, navigator.push named. And the second parameter is not the material based route. Okay, so let's remove that. And the second parameter is the route ID. So we are going to the second screen. So second screen dot route ID and the arguments you can just copy the arguments part from the button tap one function. Okay, and paste it. Okay, that's it. And change the function name. Okay, and the result callback and everything is the same. It works the same way as the first one. Okay. Now let's see how this works. Restart the app. Okay, the title, hello, message world. Okay, so you can see the title and message there. And when you click done button, so it's sent back. So that's also working. Everything working good. So this is another way to navigate and send arguments to another screen. So both ways are equally convenient and easy to use. You can choose either of those. So that's all in this video. Hope you like it. If you do, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit the bell icon for notifications. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.